Hi, what's up you guys? It's your girl Jilly and welcome to another makeup tutorial video and uh, today I am gonna show you how you can slay that work from home makeup look and just be zoom ready all day since I know that most of us have been working from home. For me personally, I feel more energetic, more jazzed up to take on the day and do productive things when I see myself in the mirror looking, you know, a little put together. Just in general, I feel organized for the day, period. Hindi ko alam guys, maybe I'm just uh, making up excuses to put on makeup. Who knows? Anyway, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Glam Pinay, and let's get this video started. Okay, hair away from the face, and uh, if you guys noticed, I did my brows off cam already to get this video fast and going. <laughs> but let's not forget, of course, to moisturize our face. I always rave about this. This one is my favorite daily hydration moisturizer from e.l.f. It has purified water, jojoba, and vitamin E. Perfect to soothe your skin. So I'm just gonna wait for a few minutes just to let my skin drink up all the goodness from the moisturizer and we're gonna prime next. I'm gonna use the Poreless Body Primer from e.l.f. and I'm just gonna apply a little where my pores are just visible. Another thing that I like about this body primer, it just makes my, my skin look more alive, if that makes sense. Now I'm ready for my foundation. I'm gonna use the Hourglass Vanish Seamless Finish Foundation Stick. I got the shade Nude. <laughs> grab my foundation brush and just buff it on my skin. I like the finish. It's really, really nice. It's almost like your skin, but better. I'm gonna use the Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. Nothing too crazy. I just need the spot conceal. So I'm just gonna use my finger to press and blend the product under my eye. And to set my face, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Blur and Set Matte Loose Setting Powder. I cannot be this pale. I'm gonna use my Butter Bronzer and the shade is called Endless Summer. And to look more alive, we need blush. I'm gonna use my ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush and this one is called Coast to Coast. Just gonna hit the cheekbones with a beautiful mauve shade. Just gives you life. So we're just gonna apply a little bit on the nose. But a cute. I forgot something. I'm gonna go back to my butter bronzer and just grab a little bit on my finger. Blend it. No sweat contour. And now for our eyes, we're gonna be easy on this and just go back to my butter bronzer. Okay, I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. So I'm just gonna grab whatever fluffy brush that you guys have. Just apply it all over the crease. And I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing on the other eye. It's just a regular everyday makeup look, so we don't have to use a lot of different makeup products. In all fairness to this butter bronzer, it's actually a really, really nice transition shade. And now we're gonna add just a little bit of color here on the lid. And again, we don't have to use a lot of makeup products. It's just a regular everyday work from home makeup look. So I'm gonna go back to my ColourPop Pressed Powder Blush in Coast to Coast. Grab a little bit on my finger and just apply this on my lid. It doesn't have to be perfect because we can always go back to our blending brush and just use whatever product is left on the brush to give it a quick fix, a quick blend. Okay, that is looking cute in all fairness. <music> It's gonna give my lower lash line a little bit of smokiness just to make the entire simple eye look cohesive and that is about it and now i'm gonna curl my lashes and apply some good coating of mascara so for mascara i'm gonna use the clinic chubby lash fattening mascara <music> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is just one coating. I feel a little extra, so I'm gonna coat it one more time. Okay, and for the lips, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink. The shade is called Seductress. This is a really pretty nude. But I kind of feel like adding a little bit, just a little bit of pop of color in the middle. I'm just gonna use my Sunny's Face Fluff Matte in the shade Girl Crush. Just in the center of my lips. 
I like it so much better now. I'm gonna highlight just a little and I'm gonna use my favorite everyday highlighter. This one is the Baked Highlight and Blush from e.l.f. I normally would just use my finger to apply it. The shine is really gorgeous, but it's subtle. Of course, to make sure that your entire look is going to be intact for the rest of the day, we're gonna set it using this Maybelline Lasting Fix Makeup Setting Spray. Perfect. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed our final work from home makeup look that we created today. Always remember guys that even though you're not going anywhere, if putting on makeup makes you feel good about yourself, it makes you have a better perspective and just more energy and positivity, then honey, go for it. Anyway, don't forget to like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Glam P9 for your weekly dose of glam. Until our next glam tutorial, have a glam day guys. Bye.